Hi, I'm Joshua Ryder, and your votes decided that we're going to install these KC Highlight Slim Lights on this Best Top High Rock bumper. Very easy, step by step process. Plug into the factory wiring harness. First off, very simple. The light goes into the bar. You got a nut and washer on the bottom side. You just tighten it up, and there you go. Depending on the vehicle, you have the fog lights. And if you have the fog lights, then you can easily splice into the factory wiring harness. So you take your two wires that you're going to connect the harness to the wires to. You take off about a quarter inch of insulation. Put your connector on. Crimp it down. Good tight crimp. Do the same thing to the other wire. You're going to cut these pigtails off, but when you do it, you're going to want to stagger it meaning one's going to be longer than the other so they fit in the wire loom a lot better. And same thing, quarter inch of insulation or so. Twist these to make them nice and tight. And just crimp them down. So they're staggered a little bit so they fit in the wire loom a lot better. And this is the factory wiring harness. I'll take the tape off. Care very careful with the knife if you use a knife. You expose the wires. You're going to do the same thing as the lights. You're going to stagger. Stagger where you cut the wires. It doesn't matter which, which one's longer or not, as long as one's longer than the other. Now you're going to take your wire insulation. I like to get it started and then put a piece of tape around it so it doesn't come out when you're threading it down all the way. And this right here is the reason we staggered it. Staggered the splices because it fits in the wire loom much nicer rather than having a big bulge right where you have both of them connected. So it just keeps it a little cleaner, a little neater. I'm just gonna take some zip ties, zip tie the wires however you like. I highly recommend these flesh cuts. Flush cuts. They cut it flush so they don't leave a mark and they won't, these will cut you very badly if you don't cut them flush. So I highly recommend the flush cuts. And you just, just zip tie them up. Then I, I like to zip tie these up so you know how long the, the wire is, how long you need it to plug into the factory harness. On the factory harness, it's very simple. It's a black and white, which is black is mostly ground and the white is positive. Just make sure everything's the same length. Cut that there. Because you staggered it, you're going to make the positive lead a little bit longer. So once again, it fits into the wire loom much nicer. Wind these tight so they fit in the connector very easily. You take the negative to the negative. And the positive to the positive. Show the stagger. These wire crimps so they fit in there nice and neat. No issues. A little difficult, but this wire loom actually fits over the existing wire loom to give you a nice clean finish. And then you just tie down the, the rest of the wires underneath in the appropriate places. Now just like the first light, we're going to do the same thing to the second light. Just as easy, just as simple, just as clean. And as we did on the last side, take the tape off so you can get to the wires. Pull the wire out of the loom. 
stagger the cuts. You hook the positive to the positive. And the ground to the ground. If you don't know which one's which, you can always get a test light, turn on the switch, and double check. And for a good clean look, you always overlap the wiring loom on the factory. Because then it just looks like one piece. After you get the insulation and there's a nut on the bottom to tighten it up, you do want to adjust it, but I highly recommend it at night or maybe in your garage with the garage door down, you can always point it towards that. And then there's an up and down adjustment screw, one on each side to allow you up and down, and the one on the bottom is left and right movement. And if you do it properly, you'll get lights just like that. Simple as that. That concludes the installation of the KC Highlight Slim Lights. Make sure to go online to vote for the next category at 4wdjeepgiveaway.com in order a chance to win this awesome Jeep and to vote on the next category.